Hey y'all, Kathleen has asked this question. I want to brighten the area just under the rocks. Is there a way to do that? I have Photoshop Elements 14. And yes, there is a way to do that. And these are the amazing photos that she uh, provided. Um, and I love uh, the water in the photo. And um, so this is the after, after I played for just a few minutes, and this is the before and after. And this is the other photo she provided. Here's the before, and here's the after. Now, I am working in Photoshop CC, the full version, but the you see the only tool really here I've used is the levels and uh, brushes and the gradient tool and um, these are available in every uh, version of Photoshop and Photoshop elements so you just have to find your tools in your interface so let's go in and, and look at maybe how I did this quickly I'm going to create a new adjustment layer for levels and now I have some other tutorials on understanding uh, the histogram but uh, just quickly uh, on the left side are your blacks in the photo so you can see there's only a very very few blacks in this photo and uh, there might be some um, you know more dark grayscale where it goes all the way up to the top here uh, but um, there's almost no black so I'm gonna scoot this over and you're gonna go whoa 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 wait a minute look it made that darker and my goal is to make that lighter <laughs> but just hold on you'll see here and the on this side um, are the whites and so you can see there's there's a little bit of white all white that's probably in here on the where the water uh, is flowing um, and but then there's next to no light uh, white here so we're going to just move it over just to the edge of the mountain and now the one in the middle it does your shadows and so um, it does your mid-tones the things in in the middle and so I'm going to move it over right kind of to the edge of the the where the mountain here begins now you're going to see that really lightened it up under the rocks so here's the before and the after but um, Kathleen's question is you know we don't want to apply that to the whole photo so what I'm going to do is click on the gradient mask so I can make sure I'm working on the mask I'm going to go to my gradient tool I'm going to use my foreground to background preset it usually defaults to that unless you've been playing with it and then I'm going to make sure my foreground and background colors are black and white so I'm going to just hit D on my uh, keyboard and um, they will change to that and then you can switch them between uh, black and white uh, down here in the left hand corner the bottom of your toolbar so I'm going to grab my brush remember I'm going to click and make sure I'm that grading and mask oh not my brush I'm sorry M my gradient tool <laughs> And then I'm going to uh, just drag down and you see um, just like that what I'm doing is I'm clicking down with my mouse at the top and then dragging so far far down and you can see it's uh, darkening that top area back up if I hold down my alt key and click on the mask you can see that gradient now on um, the mask and how well that's working that keeps it from getting um, those drastic sharp lines that you get when you draw with your brush now I'm gonna hold down my alt key and click again but with that being said now we're going to kind of play with the brush um, I'm going to get my polygonal lasso tool and I'm just going to draw around this uh, water because we want to make this water go back to its original and I can use my gradient tool and just do that just like that 
control D to deselect and it is uh, once again uh, back to its normal color but when we zoom in you see here is a line and I need to fix that so I'm going to get my brush and we're remembering white reveals black conceals and so um, the key to this is getting a very low opacity for your brush and I want it at this point um, it doesn't really matter which way I go I'm just going to click down and drag with my brush click down and drag with my brush right over that area and if I need to switch to white up in here and now you see that line is almost gone I still see it over here and just like that uh, that line is gone but I still well it's not too bad over here but I'm going to uh, let's see yeah Oh, I just made a line. See, that's where your uh, lower opacity uh, brush uh, works well. And so I want to uh, use my right bracket key to make my brush larger. And I want this to make sure this effect is all in the underneath. So I'm going to gradually just click around, click and drag and there's a little bit of underneath here I don't think I think that doesn't look good see you're going after something that looks natural I don't I like my photos to look as natural as possible and that there looks pretty good you see both of my gradient masks look at this that gradient mask and then if I turn on this one from when I played before they both look different so there is no really uh, right or wrong but um, in this instance there's before and there's after and uh, you might I might want to go back with my brush and make sure this doesn't apply down in this crevice where the light is coming in because I liked that natural light there okay going over to this one we will show you how I did this one in the same way this is just repeating the same techniques uh, and so I'm going to turn this off to go to make I'm making it invisible by hitting the invisibility I forget um, there are people who are beginners uh, so this makes it visible and invisible the little eye so back to my original new adjustment layer for levels and again we're looking here oh lots of blacks because this in here is all black uh, right here so we don't need to adjust the blacks but there are not many whites um, just probably the white in in the water here so I'm going to move that over just a little bit to about right here and it's just all about and I'm moving the center one it's just all about finding something that looks uh, you know natural and good so now I'm going to uh, fix it up a little bit click on my mask go back to my gradient tool and I'm going to draw down now watch what happens if I change my uh, foreground and background color and switch them so the whites the foreground color and I drag down now I got the wrong effect in this case I would have to drag up so <laughs> you can um, play and uh, manipulate that however you want um, so uh, that looks pretty good but um, just in the same light I don't want this effect to be on the water uh, so in this case I'm just going to grab my brush and uh, black conceals and I'm going to work at concealing this in the water that could be you want the water to be brighter as well and then always 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 be sure to zoom in I'm holding down my space key when I'm dragging to get when see when I hold down my space key I get the little hand and then when you get the little hand you can click down and drag around so um, yeah see I see some stuff over here that's not good so I want to make sure uh, that 
get smoothed out, maybe even lower oops, the opacity a little bit more. Uh, so I don't want to be able to see any brush marks. I see some right in here. So I'm going to just go back and fix it. See, and here's what our mask is looking like. So um, I might want to go back and, you know, make sure that more of this water is not revealed. And then I might want to go back um, in white for white reveals and make sure that this, let's uh, up our opacity just a tad bit, and make sure that this uh, is white on the underneath. And I'm not messing with this area with the uh, fountain. Just want to make sure our effect applies. Now, when you get it to this point, I might this in here. I want to might, maybe I want to go back and make sure that it's not affecting this area because this area was already uh, really good. And uh, so um, if you need to, you can go back to um, the mask settings and, you know, if you want to brighten it up even a little bit more, you can. It, there is uh, no uh, right or wrong to any of this. It, it's personal taste and what you feel looks kind of uh, realistic. So um, here, once again, is the before, and here is the after, as you watched me do on the screen. Now, I'll give you another little tip. Sometimes what I do from here is if I think that um, I see um, I've got lines here, so I need to go back and fix before I give you my tip make my brush a little smaller it's from when I uh, darkened up that area where the light was coming in because I wanted it to be natural so definitely zoom in and look around at your image before you and I'm at 14 percent opacity and that's where you'll find that it Uh, works well. So I fixed that up a little bit. I, I just like this. I think this needs to be darker, more original in here. I'm going to zoom in and make sure. Um, see, I don't think I don't like the way that looks. It's just personal taste and, and playing. And, and you could take five minutes to do this, three minutes as I did the first time or a little bit longer. Now I think it looks good. Um, so uh, here's my mask. Now here's a tip if um, that I was going to give you a few minutes ago. If I like the whole effect, but I think it's just still a little too intense, sometimes what I do for this adjustment layer is just lower the opacity of the adjustment layer itself until it looks a little bit more natural. And it's all a matter of eyeing it. So see here, still before and after. And I think that looks pretty natural. Or you could go back to the 100%. So I hope that um, you have learned a lot and are encouraged to go and change your photos. I do this all the time on my photos. So the secret's out. Have fun.